had this uh, discussion with Jonas Frisian, who called me one day and said, we would like to do genomics in tissue sections. And somehow we decided, let's try this. Try to barcode RNA populations in tissue sections. I still recall the first, one of the first key experiments we did. We were looking at olfactory system, the olfactory bulb in mouse. We put that on glass surfaces that only has a poly T oligonucleotide. And then we, uh, we did a, a copying reaction, a cDNA synthesis with fluorescent nucleotides. It was remarkable, I still remember this very strongly because suddenly we had the, the histology image of the olfactory system. And on the other side, we had the print of the genes being active in that tissue section. It was like a hallelujah moment. It was truly one of those few things that you experience as a researcher when you really find something that is working. Visium is the first commercial available end-to-end -end solution for generating spatially resolved gene expression profiles. So what it allows them to do is collect two complementary data types from the same intact tissue section. On one hand you get uh, histological images of the tissue section, but you also get a deep molecular profile describing gene expression patterns across the same tissue section. The spatial technology was probably the first time where I really got excited about a technology because of the possibilities that it opens up. The beauty of the platform is that all you need is the slide, right? There's no large piece of equipment that's required, right? And again, this is what will feed into the um, you know histopathological community because it's what they're used to working with, slides. Right, slides and tissue. So you take your, your tissue, your OCT embedded frozen tissue, you slice it and you place it on the slide, right? Of course, then once that's done, there's a series of experiments that have to be performed to permeabilize the cells and release the RNA onto the, uh, the slides. And then at that standpoint, it's generating the RNA sequencing libraries and then utilizing standard next generation sequencing uh, um, techniques to generate RNA sequencing data or, or a whole transcriptome sequencing data. So it's a really efficient process. And so we're really excited that we don't have to buy a machine in order to use the technology. All we have to do is buy the slides. When I used this platform, the thing that stood out for me was I was using all of these techniques that have been used in the field before, but I'm able to get out of these same procedures data that was unimaginable before, because I can get all the mRNA expression, look at it, see where there is high expression of certain genes, low expression, and still all of this maintaining the morphology of the tissue. We've made it a point to make the solution as easy as possible for our researchers. You don't need a bioinformaticist to analyze all of this data. We want researchers to be able to use our software tools that allow you to take sequencing data and also just a basic TIFF file that takes the image of the H&E and pair it together such that you can either look at areas of interest in the H&E and see what are the genes that are being expressed in that area, or conversely, look at the genes that they want to find and find out where on the H&E they're actually located. And then try and define some regions, like say tens of regions that you care about that you want to measure. But uh, in, in this solution, you basically make you know, thousands or, or more measurements at once. It's like you're, you're capturing all the information, you're banking that, and then later in software you can decide, this is how I have to look at it, versus you capture a small number of points with some other technology, you realize you don't get what you want, and then you know, you'd have to basically do the whole experiment over again. We already have these tremendous examples, right, of using Visium to identify heterogeneity, right, and I tend to call it transcriptional substructure across a section, and then being able to use uh, molecular annotation tools like gene set enrichment to actually do what a pathologist would do and say that here's the cancer, here's the stroma, Here's the uh, uh, immune infiltrate, right? But on top of that, being able to define those things, like, like very clearly defined, these cells are driven by this pathways, by these pathways, this other group of tumor cells is driven by 
completely different pathway. And even if you could see that anatomically, you wouldn't know what molecular features are driving those, right? And we can do that now with Visium. So it's just amazing. It's, it's amazing. <laughs>